Good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to the 9th of October. It's Saturday morning and I am in the workshop. So I've got a few jobs to try and get done today. Um, one of them is on this old girl. Uh, I'm sure most of you know by now that I went for a bit of a trek around in this old girl. So I had a family holiday in Suffolk. Um, then drove across to see Nick at Nick's farm. Uh, stayed there for a night. Went across to see some friends in Cheltenham. From Cheltenham down to see Farmer Pete at his farm. And then all the way up to see HSAG. Wherever he may be in the country. Um, so yeah, that was uh, quite a journey for the old girl. Knocking on about 750 miles all in. Uh, I reckon, I've not worked it out. But I think it was about a tank and a half of fuel. Which... Isn't bad going since so like most daily driving I do. I'm doing about three hundred and fifty to seventy miles to tank. So she did quite well. Um been pleased with her. And no well, there are a couple of things there. Uh she's now done that many miles. And if you don't know when you own these things, uh got some prop shafts to grease. So she wants grease not prop shafts, which ten, fifteen minute job. Um, unfortunately, yeah, don't worry about that. Um, my radio packed in when I was at HS's. Um, why, I'm not sure. I've checked the fuses. They seem all right, but it's just completely dead. And though we had quite a bit of rain when I was at his, and the previous day, my friends I went to see, their kids were playing around with the truck. I'm not blaming the kids, but I'm blaming the kids. <laughs> But to be fair, they spent an hour and a half climbing it in and out of the doors, playing with all the vents, playing with all the buttons and switches, and just loving life, which is nice to see. Um, so yeah, I've got to try and sort that at some point. Uh, the gearbox in this as well has a seal that's gone on it, and I think I've dropped quite a bit of oil out. So we're going to be topping that up. And if you watched Farmer P's video, if I can squeeze my backside through all this, um, basically... Ooh, so if you watch Farmer P's video, um, you'll see we'll talk about this corner at truck and something about having a bit of a bump. So I was parked with this in a terrace street, basically parallel parked, been there for about four days. And we went to have a, an afternoon trip out and one of the res local residents came out and said, oh, did you get your light? I mean, that light there. I've got two like running lights that aren't actually wired in and no, I didn't put them in. Um, he said, do you get your light back? I said, oh, yes, and it was on the floor. He said, oh, somebody bumped into you. Turns out that uh, a brand new, well, brand new, it was just coming up to a year old. It was a week away from being a year old defender. Had tried to reverse into the slot pretty much here. And the front end of theirs caught the bumper. Uh, this lad's actually got it on video on his uh, ring doorbell. And all you can hear is quite a lot of revving going on. And then whoever it was just clipped that end of the bumper and you can hear an almighty crack, pretty much like a crash sound. And at the same time, a woman just going, well, screaming, yelping. My vinyl's coming off. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that was quite funny. So I've got the registration of it. I haven't bothered reporting it yet. But if it's you, I think my truck came off better. So, yeah, that was that bit of a story. I say, there was no, no damage really to my truck, but I'm guessing somewhere there's a five-door black Defender 110 <laughs> with either a headlight missing or half its bumper missing, which I found quite funny. But So, right, the other jobs to do on that. I've obviously got to put that light back in again. So, greaser up, radio, light, out. And then try and start tidying all this junk up. Um, unfortunately, over harvest time, you kind of get this way because stuff's coming in and out all the time and you're fixing stuff. Um, I've also got some panels for the MB track, which will be in another video. But there's some steps and some panels as well. So hopefully, we'll get that done. Also, I've got some brackets here for the Sanderson. I need to try, I need to try and make... Um, a bale spike for it as well. Uh, it's going to be cheaper me making one. 
because I have a load of box steel just down there that I got for scrap. So yeah, I need to try and get all this side out and then shelving it at some point as well. All these shelving racking bits. Yeah, it's going to be complicated. Right, I'm going to get started anyway. Radio back on. Truck greased and out. Bit more space. Jobs to carry. Well, I'm getting somewhere. Not quite sure where. A uh, couple of crates to put some stuff in. There's a pallet over there of mine. Saw bench over there. Obviously, it sprays down there. But I'm in a bit of space. I've got so much crap in here. So I won't go out. What I need to do now is pull this out because that's my welding bench on now the way. Then I can sort the tyres out, put some rack in there, racking over the top of the bund, and uh, hopefully start shifting some more stuff around. It looks like my plan's going to be to leave that there. MB track hopefully might just slot into here somewhere. And then this can go where the MB track usually is, over this side. It's just all over the place. <laughs> right, I'm about done for the day. It's half four, so that'll do me. Uh, so obviously Land Rover's gone out. Uh, put some oil into the transfer box. Now there is some swarf in that, so I don't know if she's on the way out again. Uh, but put some oil into that. Um, check the rear diff, because there seems to be a leak on that as well now. I think that, uh, well, length of time and speed has uh, let the seal go in that. So that's to do at some point. And then I've got a whole box of stuff to to do on a, um, some seals and stuff like that. So that'll be another day's job. Um, second part of today was to put some shelving in. And there's one across the back of there, across the back of the baler. There's one across the back of that wall and there's one coming out this way. So um, the baler I'm a bit stuck with because she's got that much length at the front of her unless we take the draw bar off and the shaft off, which might happen yet. Um, but the edge of that, you can see the wheel there and then the upright is pretty much just inside there. But unfortunately, when we get to that side, it's like that far too wide as a baler. So um, all this hopefully might go across a bit further that way. Um, that's going to go up onto either that or that. And then the spray is going to go on whichever one or even onto that one. But the shelvings are four foot wide. Um, and the spray is five foot wide, so I've got something to work out there. Um, but I can can open these doors up, but they don't open the full way. But I'm hoping it'll be enough just to get something on there and get some ground space cleared. So once that's gone, that, sp that spread is gone, to be honest, I'm going to be selling that. But, um, the idea is then that the uh, track will come in and the track will be parked like that, across that way, so she's out of the way. And the forklift can come here, the boom can slide past the drawbar, and the actual wheel length of the um, forklift is actually quite short, so that should sit here, MB there, that bailer there, and then hopefully I've got some kind of room somewhere. <laughs> um, if I can't get the MB that way along, I've actually got space underneath that shelving to reverse a kind of in, and then back end of it goes under there. So the front end will be here somewhere, which will be quite nice because then I'll have all this space to uh, use as a workshop. Obviously, I've still got a couple of pallets of bits. Um, there's a saw bench to do something with. You might have just sold that, which is a, a stove. It's like a, a warming stove rather than a burning stove. And then front linkage needs to go as well, to be fair. Welding bench is out, so I need to saw that out, really. And that can roam around anyway, anywhere with the, where is it, pallet truck that's over there. I can move that around, so might just get tucked away when I need to bring it back out. And I've just got to try and sort all this out and all the stuff at the back over there. But if I can make it work, it'll be like um, baler stuff in that side on the shelving. MB track will be wherever, and that'll be it shelving at the back there. And then there's generics and kind of oils and stuff like that. And the back wall as well, so. Hopefully that'll work. Um, I don't know if you can see the tracks where I've got forklift in. Just comes to about here. So I managed to get quite well quite well in. So that hinders me a bit, but if I can move that for a bit furthermore and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So 
So that's going to be it for Saturday. I didn't film much because it's not the most entertaining thing. I've given some stuff away, I've thrown some stuff away. And still a load more to go, so never mind. Right, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next one. Cheers. Bye.